Nanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today I have Carolyn joining me. Hey, Carolyn. Hi, hi everyone. You guys, we have a really exciting video. One of Carolyn's clients has a success story and it's about how she um, overcame, you know, not being seen and to people actually appreciating her. So the theme of our video is how to be appreciated by everybody and anybody. And I think that this is something that, you know, people see, I've heard, you know, um, a lot of, you know, concerns with wanting to manifest being appreciated by people. And yeah, so I think this video will be very, very, very helpful. It is emailed in by a client. I know that there's been some comments asking if these are legit, people want to remain anonymous. But if you actually look at the comments on a lot of our videos, the person that sent it in actually says, hey, that's my story. So um, we do share, um, we have success stories sent in all the time. If you guys have a success story from watching our channel or one of our coaches, please email it in. We'd love to see it. This is why we get up every day to do this. So before we dive into it, guys, Carolyn's having a sale right now. She's got 50% off her coaching as well as she's got some great hypnosis tracks because she is an NLP practitioner as well as a hypnotherapist. So she's actually got um, the one guided hypnosis um, that really goes well with today's theme, which is a uh, deep relaxation to overcome rejection and manifest self concept. So it's going to definitely help you with your self esteem. It's for anybody that's maybe getting over a breakup or just being rejected when you're trying to manifest somebody that you want. So because I think that's the most important thing is for us to be confident in who we are and what we bring to the table. And because everyone's you pushed out, they're going to see that as well. So that hypnosis will definitely help you. And if not, it'll be a great just relaxation to feel good about yourself, right? So, but I know it will help you. I know I love hypnosis. If it's your sort of thing, it definitely works. So yeah, let's dive into this. I'm excited. I read this story two weeks ago or a week ago, but I kind of forgot it. So I'm excited to hear it again. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to read it and then we'll, we'll discuss it. Okay. So she goes, hello, Caroline. We had a session earlier today. Well, just a few hours ago. We acknowledge how I saw myself as invisible and I minimized myself. Well, I did the exercise you said, which was to put the words that were dominant in my mind on a paper and then rip it up and release it with love. I did that and then I used the affirmations that you suggested. One of them was everyone acknowledges my presence. I took a few minutes to get into the state of what that felt like. That's important. And then I ripped up the paper and I really did feel like I let go of that belief. It did not have any power over me. I'm going about my day and I hear my phone go off and it was a group text with my daughter and her boyfriend's mother. Her daughter is pregnant and so she made a group text. She's going to become a grandmother, so with the other grandmother. And... Um, so they were talking on text just to get, uh, you know, organized for the, to, to welcome the new baby. So she says, I reached out to her through text, but the last few times I texted, I had the thought that I hope I'm not annoying her or I hope she doesn't think I'm too much. It's funny because we just talked about this. Anyways, I just want to share with you the group text that I just received and attach a screenshot of what she texted me and my daughter. What just, just goes to show how quickly that affirmation that everyone acknowledges my presence, I am visible, pushed out. That was an acknowledgement out of nowhere. I hope it helps those who struggle with feeling invisible, how safe it is to be acknowledged just because. And she added, um, on her email, the little screenshot where the, the other grandmother says how much she appreciates her and, and well, both of them. Just out of the blue, she got the text. So it was just beautiful. Oh, I love that. I love that. And that was an instant manifestation as well. I mean, that is so absolutely amazing. You know, it's like just run around all day. Everyone appreciates me. Jerry appreciates me. Andrew appreciates me. Everyone appreciates me, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, and it's really to feel like, you know, it's okay to be you. You're you. And people will, will why, why assume right away that people are going to reject you? No, they're going to love you. Why not? Of course they will. They appreciate you. You're visible. They see you. They recognize you. And they let you know. And that feels good. So I want to mention two things in her 
email. The first thing she said that once she affirm everyone acknowledges my presence, she says she took a few minutes to feel that what it was like to, to be in that state. So I think there's some confusion sometimes with some of our viewers when they say in the comments, well, you said that all we have to do is repeat the affirmation, repeat, repeat. Yes, you repeat, you persist, it will become a belief. In this instance, she had a very dominant opposite belief. So in order for her to, to make it instant, she had to feel like it was like to be this different person that she was not used to be. She was used to be, let's say, invisible, like people really didn't care. How does it feel like to be acknowledged? How does it feel like to everybody, you know, to have everybody recognize you, let you know that they see you, let you know that they appreciate you? So just it's an exercise, you know, we're just giving you a bunch of tools here, but that's one thing she did. And it did work for her because she did feel what it was like to be, you know, the to live in the end in a way. That's a mini end, but that's an end. Um, why did it work with uh, this lady and not with SP yet? Well, you know, it was just a few hours after our session, and she obviously had no like heavy history with uh, with this woman. She had no um, uh, resistance. So it just happened, you know, there was no resistance. So it just, it just pushed out freely, naturally. She had a bunch of blocks with SP, where they have a big history. So she's working on those blocks. And as she overcomes all this, she will again, change her belief, then it will push out. So it's just a matter of, you know, it might be a little delay, but that's okay. You know, everything is working behind the scene, but it's happening. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's where we are with this. What do you think? <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, and you know, and so if you want to be living from the end of being appreciated, um, you know, just to add to the, you know, the affirming, I'm appreciated by Jerry. I'm appreciated by Jerry. Um, you also want to go into what are you going to see, hear, and feel. Um, you can also take a time that you know somebody made you feel appreciated before and feel it that way, or you can simply say, I feel appreciated by so and so, and they appreciate me because of this, and I'm going to see them or hear them or see a text of them saying they appreciate me. So when it comes to like changing the whole story, if there is like beliefs and assumptions that are blocking, you know, say your specific person from appreciating you, it's about clearing out and changing all of that story, you know? So if you say like, oh, Jerry's inconsiderate, you know, <laughs> and he doesn't appreciate anything I do. And then you say, well, I intend for him to appreciate me. Okay, so now we've got to stop saying that he doesn't appreciate anything you do and give his actions a different meaning than that because we can't give the meaning that, you know, he doesn't appreciate what you do. And then at the same breath say, I intend he appreciates me. So. A lot of the time when it comes to changing our story and our assumptions and our belief about a certain person, we need to change the meaning we're giving their behavior. So like, for instance, let's say, um, I don't know, uh, Jerry always, I don't know, serves me food on my plate, right? Serves out the potatoes. Okay. So I can look at that and be like, oh, I'm not a kid. Why are you treating me like a kid? Or I can look at that and give it the meaning that they're being nice and they're spoiling me, right? So we need to change what meaning we're giving things that are making me not being appreciated or the behavior we want to change showing up. So it's a little bit more than just intending, you know, and affirming, um, you know, you still need to do that, but also you can't, you know, say, well, I want them to respect me, but yet when they do something, make their behavior mean that they're disrespecting you. You've got to change the meaning of their behavior. So if Jerry's late and I want him to respect my time, I can't say, oh, he's late. He's so disrespectful. I intend for him to respect my time. Okay. That's going to cancel each other out. So if I was say Jerry was late just because, you know what, he got stuck in traffic and he didn't mean it and he's going to be on time in the future and respect my time, boom, that's going to get you a quicker result than going from he never respects my time to I intend he respects my time, those are going to clash, right? So, you know, I think that would be the the biggest thing to living in the end is giving their behavior a meaning that's in line with your end goal, right? 
Yes, and it also dissolves the anxiety you have around it because it gives you that peace that, okay, yes, of course, if they acknowledge me, they appreciate me, then you feel you feel uh, that peace within. So when you go ahead and you want to text or you want to reach out or whatever you want to do and you be in contact with your SP, then it becomes natural. And that's one thing that you want to keep on also repeating to yourself really to, you know, like I said, dissolve the anxiety, dissolve the fear, because again, what is it? Why is that anxiety? It's it's a meaning, just like you were saying. We we attach a meaning, well, like the client said in her email, I'm going to text her, but what if she thinks I'm too much and I'm going to annoy her? Well, right there, you gave her a nice label, so she will reject you. She's not going to appreciate you. So, and that will, on top of everything, give you anxiety, which you want to to remove from your life. Exactly. And it's about, you know, I remember I went through a period of my life when I was starting doing a mental diet where I was going to do everything like basically present in the moment. So like, you know, so when I would go to text somebody and I used to think, oh, I'm probably annoying them. I'd be like, no, they're happy to hear from me. They want to hear from me. In fact, they appreciate me and me reaching out is going to make their day. So it's about doing things. I don't even know the word. Like, being consciously aware of your thoughts before you take action, you know, and while you're taking the action, you know, and, and what the action is going to, you know, produce for you, right? You know, and being consciously aware of your thoughts in the moment. Yeah, like, you know, when it comes to your SP, everybody right now, you know what, say, look, they love to hear from me. In fact, they love to hear me so much. They're going to text me right now going, why haven't you texted me today yet? I've been waiting to hear from you. <laughs> yes, yes. And and really, you know, the meaning you assign to everything, that, that really is the bottom line. Uh, it reminds me of what happened um, a couple of days ago. I was writing uh, the new hypnosis tracks and when I, it, took, it took me all day to revise it and finalize it. And when I record a track, I don't want any disturb, disturbance. You know, I'm concentrated and that's what I need to do. And I will not do anything until I'm done. So I had an appointment for the evening and um, I was not finished with my hypnosis, but I let it, you know, continue to focus. When I was done, I was two hours late. So it's like, okay, I have two choices now. I can freak out and stress because I'm two hours late and I'm maybe not considerate of their time. Or uh, I can just bring peace and calm down and just assign like a meaning that's going to work out for everybody. So. I went downstairs, got into my car. I texted, I'm on my way, no explanation. And I ran in my head the explanation. I said, yes, I'm late, but they're relieved. They're relieved I'm late because they are late too. And it's just perfect timing. I am going to show at the perfect time. I got there and was like, I was so happy when I got your text. I just finished. I was late all day. And I was like, yes, of course you were. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my goodness, you know what? I so do that too. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, it's going to work out for the benefit of everybody. You know, it's like, yeah, just taking that time. Like, you know, I know there, there's been times that I need to move around appointments or do something or I'm going to be late. And then I'm like, no, it's going to work out in the best interest for everybody. It's going to work out for them. And in fact, sometimes I even say, well, they were intending that I would be late too. And then it's so funny. I get on the, or that I would reschedule it. And then I see them and they're like, oh, I'm so happy. I was intending you would reschedule it to another day. And I was like, of course you were, right? Like, we don't need to put this pressure on us and think that we're, again, annoying people, you know, that, you know, all these things. We don't, that's all just a story. And, you know, we can just choose to change it in the moment. So, you know, I invite everybody out there, you know, when you're thinking about anybody in your life that you don't have the greatest relationship with that you want to change, you know, just be conscious, con consciously aware before you reach out to them or when you think about them and, you know, and really sit down and go, okay, well, what, what do I think they think about me and take some time. So they appreciate me. They appreciate me because I miss this, 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 you know, and what do you want them to think about you? All you need to do is to start creating it 
in your head right now. Same thing with boundaries. I would never suggest, you know, having a verbal talk with somebody and creating boundaries. You create the boundaries in here. You do that by saying, Jerry appreciates me. Jerry respects my time. Jerry, you know, is going to be faithful to me. Poor Jerry. He's like, all oh, these intentions. He's still wearing his tooth because it's cold out. But you know, you create the boundaries of what you're willing to accept and what people are going to do to you right in here. And then because there you pushed out, it's going to go out there. So if you assume that your specific person will never cheat on you and they'll be faithful, then that's what's going to happen. And you've created that all up in here without even talking to them. Because if you believe and assume that they're that person, there's no reason to talk to them about it. Right. So, you know, you create who appreciates you up here, what your boundaries are, how people treat you, how they show up for you, because it's your reality and nobody else can create in it but you, because this is you're the star of the show. This is your reality, your world, your quantum bubble. And, you know, when we think negative or that people don't appreciate us or that we're annoying, the only person that gets hurt in that scenario is ourselves. Right. So, you yeah. know, today, everyone going to stand up and say, look, at, I'm good enough to be appreciated by everybody and everybody's happy to hear from me. <laughs> yes. And you make it work. For, so it feels good to you. It, it's working for you. It feels great. And you never justify it with what you had seen in the past. It doesn't matter. We, we don't we don't want to entertain that. What would be ideal today? and focus on that. It makes you feel good. The outcome is pleasant. It's going to be fun. This is what we want. Exactly. I intend that everybody gets a text from somebody today saying how much they appreciate you. You guys all get a text from somebody saying how much they appreciate you. That's how I meant to say it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here today, Carolyn. Thank you, Amanda. And thank you, everyone. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.